manufacturing tool, 3D printing is finally making its way into the consumer space. The industry wants to put a 3D printer into every single home, but will consumers really find a use for the technology? Gartner predicts that by 2018, 2.3 million units will be sold, with the vast majority consisting of consumer desktop 3D printers, but analysts doubt that it will be adopted by the wider public anytime soon. There's no compelling use case for a 3D printer aside from education. It'll still be a, a very much a, a maker, hobbyist, prosumer kind of uh, tool for many, many years. A major hurdle is not just the cost of printers, which currently range sharply in price from $459 up to $2,500 but also the difficulty of using software, which is exclusive to each manufacturer. I would say right now in 3D printing, software is so far from where it needs to be. Um, we, like the hardware already is great. Like so many manufacturers make really, really great stuff, but software is one of the biggest hurdles and the hardest barriers of entry for like a new person starting. They don't know what slicing is. They don't know how to print. They don't know how to use materials. And every manufacturer has their own software. A lot of the existing 3D printing that's been done to date has been in a very proprietary uh, approach. A, a, a single vendor of hardware, writing software, um, controlling the materials, and, and saying that, you know, sometimes it's not even just they're, they're asking you to use the material from the printer uh, manufacturer, but they actually control it like with an RFID chip inside of the cartridge, and they say, just doesn't work unless you, you buy our printer. But some companies are already improving their user experience in the hope that more consumers will embrace 3D printing. We have PIN in the US, we have PIN in Asia try to answer our, our users' problem uh, in, a, in, a, in a short period of time, probably a couple hours, we respond. And this is not sufficient. We try to have a, a call center to support uh, to, the, to the users. So uh, we, we are on the schedule to set up the call centers here uh, in Europe and also in Asia, try to run 24 hours. <laughs> we are the very few company doing the uh, dedicated uh, custom service teams because we know this is very important for the user now. And especially, uh, most of the users actually they are first time users. It's clear that 3D printing has a lot of benefits for everyone, but unless both the software and the user experience become a lot more user friendly, and consumers can truly find a really indispensable use for the technology, it is likely that 3D printing might take a while to catch up.